Now we'll move on to the topic one that is recruitment and selection process. Any idea what is recruitment is all about? Yeah, you're right. Actually, you know, before we could go ahead with selecting a candidate, it is a process through which we try to, you know, source the candidate who are his prospective kind of an employee. So that's what exactly recruitment is all about. And uh, we are going to cover the recruitment and the selection process. What are the things we need to keep in mind? How we need to plan? But we'll cover that recruitment and selection, all the methods in detail probably in the coming uh, you know sessions. But here we'll be looking at more of how the planning can be done. If you look at it actually, you know, it's more of a planning process where we need to decide first, you know, what is the kind of a positions to, you know, fill through the personal planning and a forecasting. So the first topic itself is talks about recruitment and a selection process. First step is what are the different positions are available for that job analysis has to be completely ready. So that means what are the different jobs positions are available and what is the kind of a number of people we require for that particular job to fill in. And how do we need to do a forecasting? That is the first step. It, it's not that easy to you know, come out with a kind of forecasting method because it purely depends on the kind of a task and the job and the kind of you know, client and what is the kind of business going on. So based on all these things, you know, the planning will be different from one location to another location. So we need to closely interact with that particular uh, you know, respective department heads and then try to figure it out what is the way actually we can do the planning and the second thing is actually you know once we ascertain the numbers as, as such you know each location what is the number of people is required and how many number of positions has to be filled in so we need to you know probably collect start collecting a candidate pool what you call the talent pool and uh, by collecting the uh, talent pool or probably the candidate pool or you know probably the sources of all this thing is not that easy because you know we need to look at it whether to uh, look out for our own internal people or an external people it's something like you know sometimes your own internal staff might be qualified to, you know probably f uh, fill that particular position so internally can we just promote them or internally can we transfer from one department to another department or shall we look for an external so that's the major kind of you know strategy or probably plan we need to work out uh, you know probably for each position whether to go for an internal source or an external source if it is internal source who are the potential candidates if it is an external source what is the kind of methods we need to adopt that's a kind of a broad planning has to be done and once we are done with that and you know we need to make candidates applying for the particular position and collecting lot of application forms and uh, that application forms is nothing but you can actually, you know, internally means you can give an announcement to your own employee saying that this particular position is vacant and uh, we are looking for this, this, this kind of a candidate. And, you know, you can actually circulate that particular thing as a notice. And based on that, you know, whichever employee, your internal employee contacts the HR department, your HR department can ask this internal employee to fill the application form and that can be built up. That is one method. Second is, let, let's say if you're planning to go for an external kind of a sources, you can actually, you know, uh, contact the immediate method is contact uh, your own employees to refer some of the, uh, you know, uh, employees or probably the prospective candidate. Or you can contact your own employee consultancy organization who is acting as a manpower consultancy or manpower plan, you know, uh, manpower uh, supply. So those kind of consultancies, we can contact them, what you call the HR consultancy, recruitment consultancies. So those recruitment consultancies can, you know, probably look at their own pool and then from there they can pick up a lot of CVs and then, you know, probably they, they can ask the candidate to directly apply. So these are the ways actually, you know, we can build the complete application forms and that application form will act as a kind of, an, you know, uh, primary kind of a pool through which we try to, you know, shortlist based on certain kind of a criteria. So before we could go ahead with this particular step, we need to be very, very sure about what is the kind of you know, criteria is applied for each of this particular post that has to be you know, clearly worked out. Only then the initial screening of CVs or probably the application forms can be done. And uh, nowadays, actually, you know, many companies who have their own uh, online portal and through the online portal, they try to collect an information from the employees, either from external as well as from internal and uh, use an essay, you know, selection kind of a tool to identify viable kind of a candidates as we already discussed what is the kind of a criteria and next is, you know, decide 
whom to you know probably make an offer or probably call them actually you know uh, to start the selection process so decide who to make an offer by having the supervisor and others interview the candidate so the selection process can begin from the shortlisted candidate that's how that's how the recruitment and selection process goes on now let's try to look at it actually you know in the uh, what are the steps that are involved in a recruitment and a selection process first one is actually you know you are trying to look out for a screening of the particular cvs and once you are done with the screening you know next step you try to review the entire thing and once you know the application forms you have got it and uh, what you need to you know probably uh, next step you need to identify that what is the kind of an you know probably the test or probably the uh, selection tools has to be adopted and based on that you know we go ahead and that's the way actually you know stages and uh, steps in recruitment and selection process is a serious step anyway i'm not you know spending much time on this because we are going to look at this particular topic in detail in the coming sessions so now let's try to look at uh, you know how this particular thing is very very broad if you look at it actually you know same like any other department planning even this hr also has got a plan so if you look at it actually you know this hr plan has to be totally linked with the overall strategic planning as to what kind of an you know way they wanted to go ahead whether they wanted to diversify the company wants to you know probably expand and what is that kind of you know strategy they have based on that broad strategy hr has to you know percolate that particular strategy into their department and hr has to work out based on the strategic planning of the organization hr planning has to be worked out in a hr planning it consists of uh, your personal plan what are the kind of number of people required what are the kind of training has to be provided what is the compensation level or a grade or what you call the bandwidth of your pay component your labor relations you know plans and what is the kind of a security and other welfare benefits you are going to provide now you know and each of this thing we need to go into little details say for example training and development training and development again what is the kind of you know personal forecast is required how many people we may re require and what is the kind of a recruitment planning what kind of a sources we are going to look at it because all the time you know all kind of sources may not be available so that also we need to keep in mind and uh, employee you know application forms how we are going to you know look at it and how is the selection process is going to go on so all these things you know we need to work out a complete planning as to each post wise the hr has to you know prepare a separate in detail in depth kind of a planning so that will act as a kind of a base for going ahead further with what we supposed to do anyway we'll cover that recruitment and selection process in detail